to the Penn State Nittany Lion, a Holstein cow, and the theory of relativity have in common? The answer is me. My name is Kevin Schaefer, and I live on a dairy farm in central Pennsylvania with my parents, Jeff and Cindy Schaefer, and my younger brother, Jacob. Currently, I am a junior at Penn State, majoring in physics with a minor in mathematics. I own 23 registered Holsteins, and am owner-breeder of 20 of them. I have bred several excellent and multiple e-cows and earned four Junior Progressive Breeder Awards with my dairy herd. In 2006, I was awarded the coveted National Young Distinguished Junior Member Award. And in 2007, I won the National Prepared Public Speaking Contest. I am thankful for the many astonishing opportunities I have had as a member of the Junior Holstein Association. After I graduate from college, I am hoping to use my physics degree to help the dairy producers work more efficiently. This year I moved into an apartment at college and officially became a consumer. As an avid milk drinker, I first headed to the dairy case at a large grocery store and was surprised when I saw so many choices of milk. While I knew about various flavors, percents, and butter, of butter fats, the choice of organic milk was new to me. I also wondered, is organic milk healthier for me than non-organic milk? When I read both labels, I found no differences other than the word organic. Since I had time, I went back to my apartment and opened my laptop. Using reputable websites, I found both types of milk contain the same amount of nine essential nutrients, including calcium, vitamin D, and potassium. According to the National Institute of Health, both types of milk contain equal nutrients and high-quality proteins that maintain lean muscle. When produced on the farm, neither type of milk can legally contain additives and have it labeled as milk. Both are 100% pesticide and antibiotic free, regardless of the processor. All milk undergoes rigorous series of tests before it is packaged. A sample of milk from every bulk tank across the nation is taken every time milk leaves the dairy farm. At the processing plant, all milk is tested and must show a zero drug residue measured in parts per billion. There is no tolerance level for additives in any milk. Producing organic milk is simply a management style. Regardless of its source, milk is the most tested and regulated food in the grocery store, making all types of milk pure, wholesome, and nutritious. Hi, I'm home on the farm this weekend with my favorite cow, Junebug. She's a four-year-old carnation counselor daughter, scored very good 86. My ideal cow is first and foremost a registered Holstein. She should have a great disposition, low somatic cell count, and functional type. In my opinion, the ideal cow has a firmly attached udder with high, wide rear udder and a fore udder that blends smoothly into the abdominal wall. Correct teeth placement and a level udder floor are also a must. She needs to have adequate dairy strength with a wide open rib. The final important trait for functional type is a correct leg set with a clean flat bone. Our herd has been in the top five dairy herds in Pennsylvania for low CC. If my cows don't meet our herd standards, they will become called from the herd. June Bug's SCC count this lactation is a zero on the Dairy One testing program. She happens to be my favorite cow because of her disposition. She's easy to work with, also goes where you want her to go, and generally cooperative. May be partial, however, because I bred both her excellent dam and excellent grand dam. Comparing Junebug to the ideal cow, she has excellent udder clearance, is average in rear udder height, but above average in width. She has a level udder floor and proper teat placement. I find her to be adequate in dairy strength and body capacity, but she could be more open in the rib. I'd like to see her have a more correct set to her leg with a cleaner, flatter bone, but I'll work on improving that with my breeding program. Junebug is due to go dry here in a few weeks, but when she freshens, she will be extremely angular. I have to get back to Penn State tomorrow, so I have to get back to my spring clipping. It was nice talking to you.